Okay, we're here again. This is hive number 441. Could be 445. Depends on how you look at it. This thing up here says 441. 40, used to be 445. Okay. At Queens. We made a bunch of splits. Splits are doing okay. For right now, these look like they're doing okay, but I've had some people say they'd like to close up with other bees sometime. So we're going to see what we do here for a second. I can't really see a whole lot from where I'm at. Oh yeah, I see movement now. We have bees in there. They have their fooder. A fooder. They have their feeder in their water dish. Okay, now we're going to go back to what we're doing. Fooder. So the water dish. This is their food or dish. Get there without squishing anybody. Okay. Now let's see if we can find us a queen. Put some glasses on Sam. Okay, this one has stores. It has nectar, it has honey, and bees. Got a little queen cup here that we don't pay too much attention to. This one has nectar and pollen and honey on it. Okay. If this one has any queen cells at all in it, they're no good. I'm going to go find me a, another frame of eggs and stick in here. It just proves that all queens don't come back. This one has some pollen, some nectar. Nothing queeny. This side here, the same... Dang, this queen should be back and laying by now. So I don't think she came back. But that's all nectar. This one here has nectar. And they're fast tuning over here on your left. Okay. It has nectar in it. Has the fat frame.
See, if these queens are queenless, like no queen, they should be angry. Because they're not complete. We have some larvae. And it's in a group, so it's probably not a laying worker. We have a queen cell or a queen cup over here. I can't tell right now. So maybe queen came back. Side over here has larvae in it. There's another one of these I don't really know what's going on because it's got some queen cells too. We'll come back and look at this one. Not the finger. Yeah, she stung me on the foot. This one has nectar and pollen, little honey. I wonder what I might have done now. I was laid up with stores. Next one doesn't have anything on it, it's just fishing line. It's just fishing line. This next one over here they're working on and it's just stores. Now, back to what we were doing. I believe I probably, most likely maybe, uh, let me get the top here so I can read my notes. I think I might have took a frame from another box and put it in here. Okay, on the 28th, that's what we did. On the 28th, I took a frame with eggs from number 400 over yonder, which is a good hoop. Good hive, so three deep, eight. But anyway, took a frame of eggs from them and stuck in this on the 8th. And they should hatch on uh, the 11th of this month, I think. Let's see what we got here. Get my yellow pen so I can mark them and keep, keep them safe. Marker pen. If you need a marker pen, you go to Walmart and you get one of these and it's called Painters. And it's a paint pen. And they cost about $2.79 now instead of $8 or $9 from the, your bee companies. And I like them. They work real good. Easier to mark the queen. Easier for me to mark the ends of my frames. I should read my notes before I open them up. Huh? Okay, this one here has one open queen cell down on this side. So with an open queen cell, Y'all watch videos, what do we do? We just put them straight mark. That means there's a queen cell there. And 
the larvae in here came from when I put a frame of eggs in here. This side down here on the bottom we have one, two, two queen cells uncapped. Uncapped, we just put straight mark. Now when we come back and they're capped, what we'll do is put a cross on the top, which looks like a T, so we know they're capped ones. The reason I put my marks on there is so when I put the frames back together or removing the frames, I'm very careful with my eggs. I don't push the frame real close. If you squish, especially at this time, if you squish that queen cell, it doesn't hatch. So I leave a little bit extra room in between there for me. But on the 11th, we should have some more queens. Here's the cap among the Seventh day, and that was 28, 29, 30, 31. Day's the fifth day, and they're not capped, so we must be right again. Y'all have a marvelous, fantastically wonderful day. Give us a thumbs up, a comment, share, subscribe. I knew there was something else. Subscribe. Subscribing is always good. That way we can have more videos. Uh, y'all have a marvelous day today and be careful this weekend and have a good weekend. And we'll talk with you later. I'm going to take these 445s off here and put my 441s up here. Uh, that way I don't get confused. Y'all have a great day. Bye. Three little girls. Okay, now go.